guys it's been a while um, I'm here in my tiny little kitchen and I thought it'd be really interesting to film a taste test because this is something I'm super excited about so Joe and I will be tasting the Beyond Burger for the first time it's supposed to be one of the best veggie burgers um, that you can like buy in the store and so I'm really really excited and right now, um, we have fries in the oven. I'm going to turn the oven light on. So you can see. Okay, you can't see, but we have fries in there. And I put um, some, like, Creole seasoning on it because I love Creole seasoning. So we can have, like, you know, the full burger and fries feel. So we're getting the uh, skillet preheated. This is what the Beyond Burgers look like. But look, they look kind of like ground beef. Joe said it smells like soy, but to me, like, upon opening the package, it smells kind of like a little bit like dog food, maybe, but it's not really that strong, or like some type of canned, like, meat, um, but it's not really a strong smell, like, I've seen reviews about it, and people said it smelled, the smell put them off, it's not really that bad, though, we'll see when it cooks. Ooh. It looks like one of those fake sausages. It looks good, doesn't it? Mm. Mm. Right? <laughs> Here is the finished or the cooked burger and um, I made this um, sauce that's made out of mayo and barbecue sauce so this is just a Trader Joe's roasted garlic or Sri Racha roasted garlic barbecue sauce and then I just added just mayo a little just mayo to it and we have our fries and we're gonna assemble the sandwich or the burger so we've got onions uh, spinach and the sauce and hopefully it's gonna be good right uh-huh are you excited sure I'm excited I'm gonna assemble mine okay Joe's going to take the first bite how is it fine fine does it taste like a burger No. What does it taste like to you? Uh, I don't know, just fake. Does it taste like a Boca burger? Does it taste like... I guess. Anything else that you've tasted that's vegan? Or does it taste like anything meat-like? Not really. Alright. I'm gonna try it and see if I agree with Joe. It's really crispy, Joe. Cool. It tastes good. No, really, guys. It tastes like the charred burger. You know what I'm saying? Sure. Okay. Well, I give it a thumbs up. I don't know what Joe's talking about. It's actually really, really good. Tastes like what? Um, it's like eating cold air. He's not talking about uh, the burgers we just had. He's talking about... I'm talking about your taste in steak fries. Those are the worst. Yeah. Ugh. Come here. Come here. Early join fries the, are way better. Join the video. Okay. Well... We ate the burgers, and I have to say, I, I tasted a little bit of the burger outside of the bun, just by itself, and I really, really liked it. Like, I would, if I could, obviously it's expensive, it was $6 for two patties, still cheaper than if you had a burger at a restaurant, so I mean, you know, um, 
But I would, to if I was going to a barbecue or something and bringing burgers, I would bring those because they're amazing. Um, <laughs> I would give it like a 9 out of 10. I, I thought they tasted kind of like slightly charred, like meat <clears throat> burgers. Just standard, I guess. What did you, what did you think What, from of? 1 to 10? Yeah, 1 to 10. <clears throat> uh, 5. Okay. And why, why'd you give it a 5? It didn't taste like anything. It tasted just like a black bean burger, except thick. That's it. Okay. There's no sustenance to it. If I think if someone has a burger craving, that might like satisfy their burger craving. I don't know. I don't know if it would fool a meat eater or not. I. No, it would not. I've heard that some people Unless think it they're would. Really dumb. <laughs> good awesome. burgers are good burgers, and that was just a serviceable burger from like okay. White Castle. But he also really likes Boca and like, uh... Bean and potato burgers. He likes... I make these sweet potato burgers that he really likes. It's sweet potatoes and oats and some seasonings. That's all it is. <clears throat> and he loves those things. They are good. Those are I must hash admit. browns. They are good. Mm-hmm. So, you know. But if you're looking for a meaty burger, this is probably pretty good. I mean, except Joe doesn't think so. I just have, I, I'm not as picky, I guess. No, I'm just saying, there's no <laughs> point in chasing after a fake meat until no. you lab your own it. That's fine, like, you're totally gonna be on that bandwagon. I don't know if I'm going to be a lab-grown, on the lab-grown bandwagon, like, me trying it. I think it's a great thing. Um, so that people, you know, can eat meat if they want to, and it's more sustainable and stuff. Um, but that's, that. I can make another video on that thing. Well, I'm just saying... Why well, chase after trying to be a fake meat when you can just be your own darn thing and make it the best damn bean and soy and potato burger it'll ever be? Oh yeah, true, true. There have been some really good ones, Mimicking like the ones from Aldi. Mimicking you can't mimic isn't going to work. The veggie burgers from Aldi are really good, and they're veggie burgers. They're like uh -huh. veggies, like the ch black bean chipotle burger. Mm -hmm. Super good. That's one of my favorites. That's like a burger, but it doesn't taste like a burger. Well, yeah, <laughs> it's like a chipotle to. flavored like patty mm -hmm. it's hard to explain but anyway guys so that was our kind of impression um yeah we'll see you next time bye